Hi, my name is Sage Smith, and for my second Sports Med 3 project, I'm going to be completing a program dedicated to athletes who have suffered from patella subluxations and dislocations in the past. The athlete participating in my program is Ella Long, a volleyball and basketball player at South Tahoe High School, and she has suffered from two patella dislocations and one patella subluxation in the past, which have led to a torn lateral patellofemoral ligament. The lateral patellofemoral ligament's purpose is to keep the patella aligned in the patellofemoral joint, and although surgery is the only solution to fix a torn lateral patellofemoral ligament, we can strengthen the surrounding muscles, including the VMO, to increase the stability of the knee joint and to prevent subluxations and dislocations from occurring again. My program's goal is to strengthen the vastus medialis oblique muscle, which will reduce the likelihood of subluxations and dislocations in the future, and also to decrease pain with activity. My program will be over the course of two weeks and will consist of short and low impact exercises that target the VMO. We're going to pre-test the VMO's ability and then do a final test after the end of the program. Ella is performing straight leg raises, or SLRs, as a baseline test for this program. She's only able to complete about 20 on her uninjured leg before the pain is too much and she can no longer keep her legs straight. Ella is now performing SLRs on her right leg, the leg that has suffered from two patella dislocations and one patella subluxation. She's only able to complete about 17 before the pain is intolerable and she has to stop. I then had Ella complete squats until the pain was unbearable in her knee. She was only able to complete about 14 squats before the pain was intolerable and she had to stop. The workouts in this program consist of low impact exercises, are done five days a week and are only about 10 minutes long. I emphasize the brevity of these workouts because volleyball workouts and practices started this week and I didn't want my athlete's knees to be overworked. In this program, my athlete completed 10 reps of SLRs on each leg, which are done by fully extending the leg, raising it so that the knees are parallel to each other, and then lowering the leg so that it's either hovering above the ground or the heel just touches the ground before repeating the steps. The second exercise of this workout is a wall sit with a ball between the knees for 30 seconds. This exercise is done by going into a full 90 degree squat against the wall and using the lateral muscles of the quads to squeeze the ball between the knees. The next exercise my athlete completed is a one and a half squat, which is done by going down 90 degrees, up halfway, down 90 degrees, and up to fully extend their legs. My athlete completed 10 reps of this exercise in the first set of the workout. The last exercise my athlete completed in this workout is terminal knee extensions or TKEs, and she did 15 reps on each leg. This exercise is done by flexing the knee just a little bit and then fully extending the knee with a TheraBand just above the joint of the leg. Each workout consisted of three sets of these vastus medialis oblique targeted exercises. After the end of the two week program, the athlete was able to complete 23 single leg raises on her uninjured leg. That's a clear improvement from the 20 reps she was able to complete before the program started. We also see an improvement in the single leg raises completed by the athlete on her injured leg as she's able to complete 18 reps instead of 17 at the end of the program. There's also an improvement in the athlete's ability to perform squats before the pain is intolerable. She was able to complete 15 instead of 14 squats before the pain in her knees was intolerable.
My program shows an improvement of three straight leg raises on the left leg, one straight leg raise on the right leg, and one squat without pain. There was an overall 9% increase in strength at the end of this program, and a continuation of this program would result in more protection and confidence of Ella's knee.